Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Mana. I'm once again joined by Chimera Brain, of course. Hello. And you might have noticed some differences from when we last played. We went back after getting our ass handed to us by Tony the Tiger, and we got better armor, basically, all around. Uh, we got Rabbi Cap for the sprite, or Hogan, and also Spiky Suit, Kung Fu Dress in Kippo Village for Chimera and some bracelets. And while going through there, we also got a couple levels. Not too many, just a couple. And my sword level went up one, and this uh, Chimera's spear level went up one. So we have new special attacks. Uh, so without further ado, let's uh, let's go get us some Frosted Flakes, shall we? Just ignore them. We should probably have as much health as possible for this fucking fight. So, yeah, and... Oh. <laughs> wrong door. It's our drop. Uh, so, once again, our good friend who keeps commenting and telling us the things uh, we should do better as far as beating the boss. Apparently he said this is one of the hardest bosses in the game that we'll fight, or the, one of the bosses most people struggle with. God damn it, Hogan. I guess Hogan wants to pick a fight, so we might as well kill him. Brother. Damn it. Oh yes, and another thing, we stocked up on more candy, and this time we I bought some chocolate. So we have chocolatey goodness along with. Oh no. And you just got poisoned, so I'm gonna have to waste one of our antidote herbs. Are you happy, Chimera? Those trap chests are such a dick move. I like, know. Uh, th I swear to God, we get more traps than we do like stuff that actually freaking helps. So we have more candy, chocolate, we have more everything. And apparently the antidote herbs actually uh, make you stop being engulfed in flames to when you can't move and that kind of stuff. Oh, and one other thing. Um, we've played around with the action grid a little bit, uh, which is kind of like control their AI for Hogan. And before it was in the bottom right, I've kind of been playing with it. And it seems like this spot, Hogan doesn't die quite as much. Yeah. So, at least, uh, it, at least he freaking attacks now, I guess, and stays away from the enemy. So it helps a little bit. Oh my god! What noisy children. You'll get greatness. You have to hit it, because you went there. Oh, I went there. Okay, cool. You just fucking went there. <gasps> Die, luck! No! You bastard. Not the ruins. Well, you suck. I love that the head of a secret organization that's been underground for years. It's kind of like a secret cult, but, you know, it's one of those plot devices. I love how the gate opens, and yet he fucking comes from the ceiling, I noticed. Like, he drops on top of you. Oh, wow, good observation. Like, the gate opens, and it's like, BAM! <laughs> it's like, what, what the fuck was the point of the gate? Oh my god, I cannot... I've fallen and I cannot get up already. Oh, fuck. Uh, dude, use some candy. Use some candy. Hit... Hit the menu. Uh, because I'm knocked out cold, so I can't. Uh, okay. up. And then use some candy on Hogan. We'll, right. we'll try and keep her alive. Come on. Oh, you can't even use the menu when you're knocked out. Though. I know, it's freaking That's ridiculous. Alright. Get away! Oh my god. Nice hit. Oh shit, I should've been charging. Thanks which, for being a decoy, Hogan. Hogan. <laughs> okay. I, now, I think the goal is to use the boomerang and just pray to- uh, And pray to God he comes down after that. He's not coming down. God damn it, no! God damn it, I'm gonna need candy. I need candy now. Mmm, delicious Ooh, candy. It's a good thing I don't care about Hogan. Yeah, maybe it is worth it to keep him alive because that'll decrease our chance of getting set on fire. Very true, but it also wastes all of our candy. That's good, yeah. I'm gonna charge my laser, son of a bitch, and I'm unconscious. Uh, just keep 
chilling, basically. Don't come near me, though, because of heat. Oh, fuck. Must hit him with boomerang and shit. Oh, thank god. Fuck. Okay. Back to fucking Link boomerang attack. Okay. Now I... I've been told that this will make you not engulfed in flames anymore. Oh, okay. the magical herbs of greatness. Okay, also, you need candy. Alright. Also, thanks. I need Master Sword. I need Mana Sword. Alright. Yeah! Oh, dude! High five! We kick ass. Tony the Tiger. Screw you. Screw Forrester Flakes. I ate my Wheaties this morning. Damn right. Oh, yeah. Shmira girls, like, get some. Oh, yeah. Fist pumping. Now... Some of you are probably wondering why I spliced in some different music right there, or I intend to. I'm thinking I'll do kind of a fun little game where I'll splice in victory music from other RPGs and games, and I'll have you guys have kind of like a little competition to see who can guess it the fastest or get it the fastest. And I'll keep I'll keep track of who has how many points and all that, and and ba this is on Screw Attack and on YouTube, so whoever answers first in the comments section gets the points. After that, so it's all uh, it's all not a fair game for everyone else. Please forgive me. Also, I oh, go totally for don't feel like forgiving this bitch first. I know. The tiger off. Gross. Exactly. Is it, she just turns into a nice old lady, like she changes her costume. It's like, oh, I'm good now. See, I don't have the evil costume anymore. I'm going bullshit on this. She's in a tricky bastard. Magical herbs that made me so feel so good growing this forest of withered man. I just I couldn't take it anymore. Been trading with the villagers, but they just don't have what I need for herb. Oh bull shit. Apparently she's going cold turkey on these magical herbs. Yeah, apparently we just we we got her off drugs, so job well done. Don't don't do drugs, kids. This witch is proof. You don't need the treasure chest anymore. She's bribing us. She's bribing us with candy. You know, I might forgive her. We'll see. Let's see what's in the chest. If I don't have any magic power left, I ran out of herbs. All right. It better be good. Better be freaking amazing. 50 GP. That was terrible. I'm going to need more of a bribe than that. Okay. Go whoo! You gotta hit. You gotta hit. Ah, Freaking B, fuck. dude. I kill you. Alright. Okay, now so. Now we can Indiana Jones our way across. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, all of our minions are gone. That's kind of nice. Makes sense. I like it. I like that, too. Alright. I'm thinking. I'll also put an annotation probably up at the music parts to let everyone know who won that particular one. And just to let everyone know that that one's already been answered correctly. Oh, there's, oh, wait, there's no. one lonely chair there. With no one else next to it. No evil chairs. <gasps> Duh. Minotaur, can you hear me? Come immediately to the water palace. <laughs> now what's the matter? Son of a bitch. <laughs> Hogan, no one asked you to come. <laughs> ah, so the intrepid heroes venture forth. So yeah, that whipping area right outside the forest, actually, I think, I want to say that's a shortcut back to the water palace, actually, so we don't have to walk through that. Ooh, that would be badass. Cause I oh yeah I remember we were in the forest that one time. The thing that really bothered me about this game the first time I played it is I had no idea the weapons like the whip, like it's just not very self-explanatory that that's what the whip is for. You like whip across the poles Indiana Jones style. That always kind of bothered me. Oh. Cause when I finally figured that out I was like, the fuck? Balloon. You pop my balloon, yeah. dog? I'm trying. It's too hard. Jesus, you have a pokey stick and you can't <laughs> pop a freaking balloon. <laughs> 
The most sturdy balloon of all to, time. I'm trying to pop Tingle's balloon here. It's just not working. Well, you gotta get the... Well, if, you, if you're using the bow and arrows, it might be easier. He's I'll very true. Either that or you spit, like, snot at it. I, I, that still confuses the shit out of me. The Dooku Shrub was debatably the weakest transformation in Majora's Mask, in my opinion. It was a good, fun one, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. It kind of fell to the wayside. Like, they had, like, all the puzzles had to do in the first dungeon, and then, like, you just, like, never used it again. But the oh, other yeah. ones were all, like, used frequently. Well, like, the Gorin transformation was pretty awesome, because you just had raw power, and you could turn into a ball, which was just cool as shit. Oh, yeah. And then yeah. the Zora. I mean, Zoras are just badass. Just, you're great and simple. All right, so... Oops. Whip attack attack. What? Charge it? I don't even know. Oh, there we go. Oh, we Every, everyone has to be standing there. Cool. I didn't... I didn't. Normally, they all gather up, but I, it must be, like, kind of wonky when you have someone oh, else playing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Snothira. Yes. Okay, we're right outside the water palace. Let's go see what Luca wants. She'll clearly be a bro. And give us all to bitches. Green fire for the win. So. Oh yeah. Random switches for the staircases that do nothing. They're not for prote I, that they're not for protection, they're not for anything, they're just there. Like you gotta press the switch and the staircase comes down. Alright, Luca, what's up? Oh, why thank you. Well yes, I I want to, but what, what did you want me? Or Oh, now we go to the waterfall. Remember before it was like, oh my god, it's keeping me out. What the hell? Okay. So, I think think we're about to go freaking get our water on. Oh, boy. She's in great danger. Oh, yeah, shit. We should do something about that. Oh, yeah. Damn, can't step on the lily pads, are you mad? Oh, now there's freaking fish monsters here. Freaking fish attack attack. Skewer. Oh yeah. Damn it. Take that fish. <laughs> 